everybody it is a monday and i've decided to do a little weekly vlog what i get up to in a week of being self-employed but also searching for a graduate job mm. if you don't know i am a maths graduate i graduated a year and a half ago had a gap year when traveling those vlogs are on the way i promise <laughs> and now i am living at home doing various work things but also looking for a proper quote unquote proper graduate job which honestly absolutely terrifies me but i feel ready finally it's taken a year and a half but i finally feel like it's the right time if you've been around since i graduated uni you will know that i basically just i just didn't want a job i know that's a, a sort of very privileged position to be in that i didn't have to go straight into full-time employment like that i just mentally wasn't in that headspace and i took a lot of time out to sort my brain out and hopefully in that time as well figure out what I wanted to do with my life which has worked and hasn't worked like I, I haven't had this massive epiphany about like a career goal but the fact that I now feel ready to look for some kind of maths related job is a good sign I think. I just had a quick speed tidy of my room that is always like the first thing on the agenda when I want to have a productive day or in this case a productive week I want to start the week off right i think mondays are the perfect opportunity for a fresh start and i think i'm that annoying person who kind of likes mondays in a weird way sorry i just really like fresh starts and i want to be able to plan my week on pretty stationary which i think is what i'm going to do now first thing is always having a clear space i now have that so let's do some planning we're gonna go with this angle please ignore the messy bookcase in the background that is another problem i have to deal with another time i use a different planning method every week honestly this one is um a weekly planner that was gifted to me by odia from their paper gang box we've got a weekly kind of planner section we've got a notes section and a to-do section i will choose a pretty pen i'm going to use this purple one again gifted by odia not spawn and i'm also going to pull up my calendar from my laptop i just use the ical i find it the easiest one to sync with all my devices and i think it looks nice i don't understand people who choose google calendar over ical because everything is too bright. I'm just going to start with the things that I have like booked in which are mainly tutoring sessions and also I think a doctor's appointment. Okay so today Monday we got tutoring at three o'clock. Tomorrow we've got one at 9 a.m and one at 3 15. Wednesday I have free. Awesome. And then Thursday's my busy day so 9 20 doctors and then 12 15 tutoring 1 45 and three o'clock tutoring and then Friday is a day off again. Well, not a day off, but currently a free day. I didn't realise I thought I had students on a Friday. That's cool. So this is my week at a glance. Because it's a weekly one, this plan has only got like a space for general to-dos for the whole week. But that kind of works in my favour. I can make that work. Finish the DIY video. I need to do some Instagram stories for uh, a video. And I think the main goal is finish my CV. I've been working on it for a while and I just need to stop faffing and finish it off. All the body is there, it just needs kind of finessing, a few little tweaks, make it look nice, and then I need to actually start some applications. But for now, finish the CV is on the to-do list. I will leave space so I can add more to it in the week. And now the fun bit is over and I actually have to do the things, which is a shame. I'll show you my to-do list. On the left-hand side is like my week, just what I have planned in, and then here are my to-dos. And there's some space for notes here if I need them. I just want to quickly show you my tidy room. It's not the tidiest in the world, but it's clutter free for the most part. So got my desk. That's my stuff for tutoring later because it's online tutoring. Made my bed. Clear windowsill, no clutter on it. Clear-ish chest of drawers. Look at my books. I have got a giant pile of blankets down there, but they can stay. And then over here is kind of like my processing pile. So this pink box is all my scrapbooking stuff. That stuff on the top is all of my Australia scrapbooking stuff. It doesn't fit in the box. The box doesn't close. <laughs> yoga mat is there to remind me to do yoga. And this stuff, I say it's processing because I need to finish editing the video that involves it. I filmed this DIY project two weeks ago and haven't finished the edit. Uh, so that is not going away until I finish the edit. I don't know what it is, but there's something, there's like a mental block that I just don't, want to make videos and i'm not going to make videos for the sake of it if i'm not in the mood to but things i do want to make them there's just like something in my brain that's stopping me so if you're watching this video i have succeeded and i've overcome that weird mental block so go me future me <laughs> current me is not 
it's not quite there but we're getting there i also just remembered that i'm going to cinema tonight with my dad we're going to see the new david copperfield movie so that is now in my calendar now i'm going to use todoist to do my daily to-do list so there is my to-do list for today hoover car i don't want i'm just going to move it to tomorrow just so it's out of the way i do need to do it at some point but today's focus is not that so i'm going to take my pill now i set a reminder every day to take my pill because if I can tick it off a to-do list, it might actually motivate me to do it. So here's today's to-do list. Probably plan my lesson first just to get it out of the way so I'm not panicking come three o'clock. I've set my emails reminder to repeat Mondays and Fridays because I'm trying to get into the habit of like getting into a routine with my emails so that I actually reply to them regularly. Otherwise, they just build up and then it's a task that I dread. Unsurprisingly, it's a lot easier to do when there's only half a week's worth of emails to go through. So that seems to be working for me right now. And then finally, the kind of big task for today is getting this video done. I'm trying to do Monday uploads. Uh, let's zoom out. It's not my New Year's resolution because I don't have those this year. I have 2020 intentions. The main intention I have for this year is to find myself a graduate job. I need some stability in my life and I think that will really help. Then my other intentions are weekly uploads, we're working on it, it's not like a priority, but it's something that I would like to do. Exercise twice a week, I'm doing really well with that one so far. And the other thing, at some point this year, I would like to sort my room out. The reason that that one's not already happened, even though I've been living here a year and a half, is I need a plasterer to come in. There's nothing too major, but like there's a few little cracks and bits and bobs that need sorting before I go at it with a paintbrush. So this lesson that I'm doing at three is just a cover lesson. So the plan should not take long at all because it should have been planned by a normal tutor. The usual tutor is supposed to upload like a cover lesson. It's usually very basic, just like a paragraph or so explaining what you're going through and what they want you to cover during the lesson. But that isn't there. The perks of a cover lesson is usually it's nice and easy because most of the work is done for you. And I feel bad because I want to be able to give a good lesson. Like I want them to be able to make the most of their time with a tutor. I feel like it's completely letting them down. Not being able to deliver the lesson that they deserve basically. I'm really frustrated. And now I can't take that off my to-do list because it's just like something that's looming over me. And I just have to hope that the original tutor uploads the lesson notes before three o'clock. They've got three hours. I doubt that's going to happen. And now I'm just going to go on my emails. I just use Apple's own mail app. I just find it the easiest to use and it's most intuitive for me. I tried to keep it at inbox zero. That is the goal. But because I went a bit lax with my emails for a while, we are not quite there. We're nearly at it, but we're not because we've got emails basically dating back throughout my whole Australia trip when I wasn't, I wasn't switched on with that. And I feel like it's too late to reply to them, but I also don't want to delete them. I don't know what to do. So they're just still sitting in my inbox, but I don't actually have any new ones. I do get annoyed at myself though, because there are some really great opportunities that people have emailed me. Anybody watching this who has business emails they have to reply to and potentially hasn't replied to them for a while. Do you reply to them and just apologize for your messy life? Do you ignore them and waste the opportunity? Or do you reply and look disorganized which one is it anyway for now we're taking off emails emails are sorted bing done the next thing the main priority for today is to get this video edited what i'm struggling with is the storage so i think i'm gonna back up my laptop it has been a while since i did it it won't crash every time i try and open final cut then that'll be nice i'm actually getting the shakes a little bit so i think that means it's time for lunch so while this is backing up gonna go get some food and then I'll come back and actually get some editing done okay see you in a bit right I'm back from my lunch break I had a sandwich with corn chicken and hummus and spinach bit of a wood combination but it tasted really good and I had some olives as well just come back upstairs to check how my backup is going and we are now on 209 gigabytes I think there's about 250 while we wait for that because I'm not going to try running time machine and final cut at the same time my laptop will not be able to cope so I'm going to check whether the tutor I'm covering for has uploaded their lesson plan I highly doubt it yeah no it's just gone one o'clock so I've got just under two hours until I need to teach while I'm waiting I've just been watching a bit of YouTube as well I watched Hannah Witten's sex survey results I'm not going to watch anything else because I will just fall into the trap of just watching things just waiting taking its sweet time part of what i do at the moment to earn money is pet sitting and one of my clients 
has just messaged me asking if I can do a dog walk on Wednesday. So I'm going to put it in my iCal calendar. That is like my main calendar. And I refer back to that for invoices. I use this little paw print emoji so that I can differentiate what work is pet sitting work. And then as you can see here, I've got a little... Uh, like a teacher with a blackboard emoji so that's all my tutoring work so at a glance i can see like what kind of thing i'm doing if that makes sense so wednesday one o'clock bruno okay so that's my tutoring done it went surprisingly well considering there was no lesson plan i didn't actually get to update you but my laptop finally finished backing itself up it took a lot longer than i was hoping so i didn't actually do anything particularly useful in that sort of hour gap that I had. I've also just accepted another tutoring cover slot for Wednesday so I've just added that to my calendar and to my weekly plan and I've had a quick look through the lesson notes which the tutor for that one has uploaded. Wednesday has now got two things in and only a couple of hours ago it was completely empty but I'm grateful. Work is just appearing in front of me. It's very nice. Thank you. Work gods. So it appears I made a bit of a mistake. For some reason, in my calendar, it says the student's at 9am, but on the website she's not in until 12.30. I don't know how I've made this mistake. At least it's not the other way around, at least I'm not late. But that means I don't actually have any tutoring to do until 12.30. While I'm on the website, I will plan my next lesson, which is at 3.15. I write lesson notes afterwards in a Word document, and then the next week I come and I write a lesson plan. Right, I am showered and dressed. I have had a bit of a slow morning, honestly. Just pottering about, doing a few little bits. I've got this hour. Either I will be tutoring and it will be productive and then I'll feel more productive. Or if she doesn't turn up, which is more likely, I will at least have an hour where I have to sit at my laptop and then I can do little admin bits whilst I wait. Also, I just had one of my Thursday tutorials cancelled, which is a shame because we did only have two lessons together anyway. We had one last week and this was gonna be the second one. And two lessons I would say isn't really that long to get comfortable with someone who you're talking to online, especially at like 15 or 16. She was really lovely and last week she was so nervous. She said to me how nervous she was. But then by the end of the session, she had made so much progress. Sometimes you find a student and you can really see yourself making an impact and helping them. You can see it within that hour window that you're with them and just how much, just a little boost and a little bit of time one-on-one -on -one can really help grow their confidence. Okay, I will talk to you in a bit after my lesson. Well, that was a particularly unproductive hour. She didn't show up like I expected and I didn't really get much done. It's now almost half one and I need to go and get some lunch. And it's also coming to the time where my mum does like the lunchtime drop-offs for the dogs. The ones that are left here obviously need looking after so that job comes down to me. So I'll maybe show you what I have for lunch and then I'll get back to you after that when I come back upstairs. I've made myself some couscous. We've got couscous, spinach, olives, sun dried tomatoes and then a little bit of hummus on the side and I made an extra portion for lunch tomorrow or Thursday. So I'm gonna eat this, have yet yeah, another cup of tea. All the dogs have now gone so we've got three left. It's nice and peaceful. <laughs> Why do I look so orange? So it's now, what, half seven? Quarter past seven now. My 3.15 student didn't show up. So I spent that hour working on my CV and then I've been working on it basically all evening. I had a break for dinner and now I'm not there. It's not finished, but it's getting close. Um, but my brain is now turned to mush. So I'm gonna call it a day. Tomorrow morning, I am going charity shopping with my friends. I'm walking a dog at lunchtime and then tutoring in the afternoon, so. I will see you tomorrow. I'm gonna go watch some Netflix, zone out a bit and just relax for the evening. Bye. Good morning. 
Wow. It's Wednesday today and like I said yesterday, I am going charity shopping. I'm meeting my friends about 10. I'm gonna go pick them up. There's a charity haul coming soon. Maybe it's already up. I'm very disorganized with my whole YouTube stuff as we have established. I bought a coat for a pound just before Christmas in the charity shop in the next village. So we're going back there today to hopefully find some more bargains. Got about two hours, just under two hours till I need to leave really. So I'm gonna take things nice and slow, have some breakfast, have a cup of tea, get showered and ready. Just have a nice, slow, relaxing morning. And then this afternoon we'll be back to business. All right, let's go and get some breakfast. We've got hot cross buns and my precious cup of tea. I'm showered and ready. James isn't coming anymore, it's just me and Rebecca. It'll be nice because I've not seen her like one-on-one -on -one for quite a while now. I have picked out clothes which are easy to take off so I can easily try things on and it's less hassle in the charity shops. It's quarter two now so I more or less need to go but I'm not going to take my camera out so that I have hands. That's the other thing, charity shopping. I like to have a rucksack rather than like a tote bag or handbag type thing so that I have two free hands to go through the racks. If you've got a bag that's on your shoulder and you're sort of standing to the side like that and going through the racks it slips off your arm and it's very annoying. So backpack, free hands. I'm gonna be looking out for some new boots, black chunky boots, maybe Chelsea boots or something similar. That's the main thing on my list I've been looking for for a while and I haven't had much luck. Always need more tops. Any kind of smarter things like blouses that I could wear for interviews and work. Nice pairs of trousers, like cigarette style trousers or also mum jeans maybe. We'll see what I find. I might come home with something completely different to that. Switching to phone camera now. Excuse the mess on the floor, but here's the outfit. Nice and simple, easy to get changed in and out of, and hopefully will keep me warm as well. Here we are. Look at that, 10 a.m. exactly. Okay, I'm home. It was a very successful little outing to the charity shops. We both got quite a few bits, which is good, and neither of us ended up spending too much money, which is also good. I will show you later, because it's now 10 to one, and I'm walking Bruno at one. I'm just gonna empty my pockets, grab my keys, and I'll be ready to go. Okay, see you in a bit. I'm back from my walk, just tried to film this clip already. I didn't turn the microphone on, well done me. It's now 2.40, I've made myself some, well, I've heated up yesterday's lunch, which was spinach, couscous, olives, sandro tomatoes. No hummus today. I feel like I haven't had time to sit down today and just take a breather. I haven't checked my phone, that's one sign that I always notice when I'm feeling really overwhelmed, which happens a lot. My messages build up really fast because I don't have like the mental capacity to check my phone, I'm just like, focusing on the thing I have to do right now and then the thing I have to do next. While I'm eating this, I am looking at the lesson plan. My lesson's at half three, I'm only doing one today. And it's a cover lesson, so the normal tutor has written the lesson plan for me, I just need to kind of prepare for it. So they wanna do multiplication and division longhand, so I just need to prepare some questions for that. Tutoring is done, I think. Was that the first student that has turned up this week? No, second. <laughs> Not the best success rate, but he turned up. Woo! In the charity shops, they were selling their Christmas stock off quite cheap. So I got myself some fake after eights for 70p and I've been munching on those. I always get this afternoon slump. Normally it happens just after lunch, but I'm usually tutoring from like three o'clock-ish onwards and that kind of pushes back that tiredness for a while. I do still feel tired, but not tired enough to need to sleep, just tired enough to need a break from doing work. Generally what I do sort of after dinner, I have another productive surge and I do something else in the evenings and that just kind of works for me. So I'm gonna watch, what episode am I on? I think episode two, season two, episode two of Sex Education. I'm halfway through it. I started watching it last night. I'm gonna carry on watching it now. Good morning, it is Thursday. I've already been up and out to the doctors this morning. I had like just a medication review just to check that my meds are all working for me, which they are, so 
everything's fine. No, I'm just looking at what I've got to do today. So, 9.20, doctors done. My 12.15 student has cancelled. I've got a 1.45 and a 3 o'clock. And there was also one that was up for cover at 6 o'clock and I just tried to accept it and there was an error so I think someone grabbed it before me. Have I done anything on my like main goals list for the week? Those three things that I wrote at the beginning. I've done work on the CV and I've done a bit of work on the video but I have this terrible habit of not finishing things. Like I'll do a bit of work and I'm like yeah okay have a break and I'll come back to it and I'll just want to do a different task. I need to get better at focusing on one thing at a time and just getting that one thing done. Right now though I have such terrible cramps that I'm just going to lie down for a little bit. Once again I am rushing my lunch because there was just never enough time in the day. I found this old fajita in the fridge. I don't know how old it is but I've heated up. It doesn't look particularly nice. This is a weird angle, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not having the best day, honestly. About five minutes before my first lesson. This is a new student, she's booked in for five sessions. Oh, it's not even warm. This is tragic. 15 minute break after that, and then a three o'clock lesson with another regular student. I'm having such bad cramps today that I have put on my pajamas, Christmas pajamas. It's, it's, it's at that stage, I just, the thought of ha having to put on jeans right now is not good. But luckily I'm at home all day, so I can take it relatively easy. I just need to sit at my desk for these two hours and then I can do work from bed after that. Finally, two successful lessons in a row. <laughs> I feel like I've had such bad luck this week. Okay, I'm just writing up my lesson notes now. So that was the student I just had and I'm gonna submit those to the website as well. And then the student who I had before, I've still got her notes up somewhere. Okay, so actually this was confusing. So I prepared this lesson for this new student that I had. I'd been given like notes on her, so like her current grade, target grade, what she needed to work on. And then the person who turned up was someone else. She had a different name. This has started happening quite a lot and I need to work out why it's happening. But they were using each other's accounts because one of them wasn't working, but then it gets so confusing because like next time, which girl's gonna show up, the one who I was supposed to have this week or the one who I did have this week. So it makes it quite difficult to prep lessons and teach people, but that is a problem for next week. So I'm just gonna write up the notes. And then one of the things on my to-do list for this evening is to contact some other tutors and find out whether they're having similar problems and whether it's a website glitch or what the policy is. I might end up phoning them as well, I don't know. While I'm talking of to-do lists, I have to take my pill and then I will be able to take it off here. Considering I went to the doctor this morning about my medication, you just thought I would have remembered to take it by now, but I haven't. I'm gonna go find out now about why random students are turning up to my tutorials um, and what I'm supposed to do about it. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. It's a quiet day work-wise today. I don't have anything scheduled. Maybe also be seeing Jacob today and then this evening I'm going out for dinner with my friends because my friend Jordan has got a promotion. This is the adult world that we live in now. Before I do anything else, it is time for a cup of tea. The secret to the best Marmite on toast is after buttering it, you put it back in the toaster just for a minute or so, maybe even less than a minute, and then the bread goes all soggy and you can spread the Marmite. See, look how golden that is. The Marmite just spreads and it oozes and it goes all gooey and delicious and you can spread it nice and thin. No one wants too much Marmite, do they? Look how nice and golden and mm, that toast is. You gotta melt the butter in the toaster. That is my secret. Quick announcement, this conditioner, super drug coconut water conditioner, smells so good. I just want to eat it. Would recommend. The last time I made a daily vlog, got a lot of comments telling me how I shouldn't brush my hair while it's wet. And I'm here to tell you that this is my hair. People always seem to come up with a way to look after curly hair that's better than the way you're doing. But I always try them and nothing works as well as the one that I already know works well for me. Which is washing and conditioning my hair and then brushing it and leaving it to air dry. No products, no curly girl method sleeping with a t-shirt on my head. Change of plan, so I'm going to go to Jacob's soon, spend the day at his. So before I go, I'm just going to do some quick tidying up and a quick bit of admin so that I've done something productive with my day. I'm worried that this vlog has A, been really repetitive and it's just been me at my laptop all the time, which is kind of what my life is like. And B, has made me look like I don't do anything with my time. Even though I've been so busy this week that I haven't even had time to like have a lunch break and I've been eating lunch whilst doing lesson prep, it still feels like I haven't 
done anything. I think it's because I haven't done any of the things that I actually set out to do with my week. Like the three to-do list items are still there without their boxes ticked. Which is why I like to have a day carved out where I'm not doing anything so that I can focus on all the other things which I actually need to do. I need a few solid hours blocked out where I can sit and just do some proper fully concentrated, no attention, thinking about tutoring other people work. Quickly show you what I got from the charity shops. Black like pencil skirt. It's kind of quite bodycon tight, so I'm not sure how professional it is, but it's there in case. And then this I just couldn't leave behind. Pink fluffy skirt. These brand new 375. Is that not amazing? A quick tidy up. These are going in the corner of my room, which has become my processing pile. Once I film the video, they'll go away, but they stay there for now. This doesn't belong on the floor. This calculator can go away because I'm not tutoring for another three days. I think I'm tutoring again on Monday. The graphics tablet. I'm going to start keeping this on my desk, I think, rather than putting it away with all my tech stuff. Let me show you. This is my desk drawer. In my third year uni room, I didn't have any drawers on my desk, so I used this giant box, which like gift set came in and I turned it into my stationery drawer. So that is just slotted in my drawer. I've got all these boxes down here. I don't know if that you can see them with like staples and paper clips and stuff in. That's just a memo pad that I need to use up because I've had it for years. And then this tray here is all my cards from Alice Thorpe's Soul and Fire. They're in there on the top and then there's all my paper bearing stuff. Hashtag gifted. If I move those to the back a little bit, I can slot my graphics tablet. Well, it's not even mine, I have to be honest, it's my sister's, it's on loan. That can go there with my calculator, which are the two things I need to access for tutoring. And then pencil case, flat in there. Is that not perfect? I don't know why it's taken me this long to think of that. This is one of the things, minimalism, it's just like making your life easier. And sometimes it's not about having less stuff, it's about making smarter decisions about where you keep the stuff. So that the stuff that you actually access all the time you can get to and then you don't have to rifle through loads of mess. And I'm really enjoying that process actually. Is that sad? So once I finish decorating my room, if that ever happens, I am excited to have a bit of a rearrange and sort things out so that they're in more sensible places. Very quickly, I'm gonna show you how I do my finances. Ooh. I use a few different things. So I have a mileage tracking spreadsheet, an income spreadsheet, and then like invoices that I do. I've scrolled down so we cannot see the rest of it because I don't want to put that on the internet. No, thank you. There's just two things I wanna process. So on Wednesday, I got my My Tutor payment, which is paid every two weeks. So that was on the 5th of February. My tutor earnings, source, tutoring, and then the amount. And then also on Wednesday, I walked Bruno and I got paid in cash for that. And then we've got this very sexy pivot table. This is why I've got the source column and then I can make a pretty pie chart. So I refresh this once I've inputted new data, the total goes up. You can't see it, sorry. There's my new pie chart. So if I just command Z so you can see before. So my tutoring income as a percentage has grown a little tiny bit. There's as much of my finance stuff that I can really happily show you. So I'm leaving for Jacobs now, pack my bag, bring in my pyjamas with me because it's that kind of day, and then I will come back, have dinner tomorrow. We'll, we'll get some stuff done. I'm telling myself, editing Beth, we're gonna get some stuff done tomorrow. Good morning. Well, it's practically evening now, actually. It's five to four on Saturday. Yesterday wasn't a very productive day, but it was a very sociable one. I went to Jacob's and we watched some Survivor, and then I went to Pizza Express with my friends and we ended up staying there for three hours. They never bring the bill. Like you just wait and wait and wait and you can't get anyone's attention. So you just end up sitting there for ages, but it was fine because we were all chatting. It was really nice to have a catch up with my friends. This morning has been very slow. I don't want to admit this, but I woke up at almost one o'clock. It's very uncharacteristic of me, honestly. I do like to sleep, but usually what happens is I wake up early and then I have a nap during the day. Hey, I've just thought, I don't think I've had a nap this week. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the whole week that I've been filming this video, I haven't napped once, which is... Very good, maybe that's why I needed such a long lie in this morning. The sun is such an annoying angle. I need to take that pill in a second, I'll try and remember. Um, this morning I've been doing little odd jobs. This morning, this afternoon, I've been doing little odd jobs. Selling some stuff online, so I sorted that out. And I'm currently uploading some of my trip photos to Google Drive so that I can share them with Jacob a few months late, but never mind. We've still got 57 minutes to go and there's 300 more photos. Taking my pill. Australia photos are doing the Hoover car thing. I'm going to delete it. No date. There we go. And then these three things, which are my goals for the week. Still not done. I'm babysitting from half six tonight, and the boys normally go to bed like half seven-ish. 
so after that i should if they are good have a bit of time to get some editing done <laughs> It's Sunday and I have finally finished one of the three things on my to-do list for the week. This one I was working on last night as you saw. I just need to do the voiceover but yesterday a car alarm was going off so I couldn't do it. <laughs> Today is Storm Kira or whatever it's called. It's a storm. It's very loud. Can't record audio properly. CV nearly done. Um, I have worked on it this week. I'm going to meet up with Rebecca in the week and finish that off. Right, it's Sunday evening now, the storm is still going on, so the voiceover hasn't been done, but I'm just looking at my calendar for the week, just realised that I've propped my camera up on my to-do list, not a good idea, hang on. I'm looking at my iCalendar calendar and I'm comparing it to my bookings. It's a good job I did this because they are not the same. So I'm tutoring 9am tomorrow morning and then... The student who I normally have on Tuesdays is cancelled and I haven't been told. Normally you get an email saying that the bookings have been cancelled, but I haven't. So I'm going to delete those from my calendar. Goodbye money. And then the CV thing, I need to message Rebecca and find out when she's free because we're going to work through that together. We're going to have like a little coffee meet slash job search session. The final things I just need to piece together, I think it would be good to have another person's, first of all, opinion and second of all, motivation to give me a little push. So... <laughs> Has this been a successful week? I'd say it was successful. I've done one of the three things on my to-do list fully and two of them more or less done. But tomorrow's Monday, it's the start of a new week. So there's still opportunity for me to get more stuff done. I feel pretty good. I feel a lot more motivated now than I did at the start of the week. Even in terms of YouTube stuff, I feel like I've got my head in gear a bit more. Every day is so different at the moment in my life. Like sometimes I'm tutoring, sometimes I'm pet sitting, sometimes I'm doing something else. No two weeks are that similar. And I find that time, time goes by so fast. Just because I'm doing so much stuff, so many different things. And that is one of my kind of goals for the year is to not necessarily cut back on the amount of stuff that I'm doing but I guess be a bit more intentional with it. My theme for 2020 I've decided is stability. I want to get into a proper stable routine, a stable job with a stable income. I feel like where I am in my life right now that is what I'd need and what I would like and the more stability that I have I feel like the more capacity I will have taking on other projects because then I've got a more solid foundation and at the moment I'm juggling loads of things and I'm spinning loads of different plates but it's good it's a fun life challenge I've definitely enjoyed having this time to do something a bit different a bit less traditional and I'm really glad I have done it but I think now is the time to get looking for that grad job. Final thing before I go, the Instagram stories I was uploading earlier, I'm filming a video soon with a lady called Sally who I met at um, a business course that I went on and she provides mental health first aid training. So companies will hire her in and then she will give the training to their staff. But we're filming together soon. Um, we're gonna talk about all things mental health first aid. So if there's anything that you would like us to talk about anything you want me to ask her then either message me on instagram or twitter or leave it in a comment below and i will make sure to ask right i think that is it for this video thank you all so much for watching i hope it's not been too monotonous i feel like i've just kind of filmed myself sitting at my laptop and then the rest of the stuff that i do i haven't really been able to film so we'll see how it turns out let me know if you enjoyed it if you'd like to see more weekly vlogs if you'd like to see maybe a video about <laughs> my job search how fun. I know the struggle of finding a grad job isn't unique to me, so it'll probably help a lot of other people as well to feel like they're not alone in this horrible struggle and we can all get through it together. Okay, I think that's it from me. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you very soon.